Hi guys, you are watching OxyVlogs and I have great news for you. I'm going to start free weekly webinars about how to move to Dubai and how to find a job here. So if you're interested, there is a link in the description below. Don't forget to register so I will send you the invitation link. How many of you texted me saying that you applied for a job, that you sent your CV to the recruitment agency but you didn't hear back? It means that it's only your fault and you're doing something wrong. I've mentioned a million times that the job market in Dubai is highly competitive, so it's not enough just to send your CV because there are many other factors that stop you from getting a call back. So today, let me go through the top five reasons. The reason number one, you really are not qualified. If the job description specifies a marketing manager with five to seven years of experience and you are just a junior specialist with one year of experience, it is obvious that you will not get a call back. Don't apply for jobs for which you don't have enough of experience. Don't waste your time. All job descriptions are written with specific job requirements, so all companies are trying to find the candidate who can bring the best value to their companies. So it is quite fair that they are trying to find the most qualified person. The reason number two, I recently found out that some employers post their job openings as a formality. Uh, despite having an internal candidate for the position. Because those companies have internal policies that require them to post job openings to the public. But in reality, the position is not available. In addition, some companies don't take down their job postings after the position has been filled or their jobs get reposted by other job boards and the employers don't know where their job postings are. Today, many recruiters search for potential candidates using ATS. ATS is Applicant Tracking System. Let's say you're applying online uh, through such websites as bait.com, Monster Golf, where recruiters receive hundreds or thousands CVs per day. Recruiters are not able to check all CVs manually. That's why they created this technology, which is called ATS. So what happens now when you apply online? Your CV goes to that big bank with all other applicants and ATS system uses specific keywords to narrow the list of applicants down. You are not going through that system because you are not optimized for the ATS. Even if you are optimized, 8 out of 10 times your CV never gets seen by a human. So why it happens? There could be several reasons. For instance, you didn't fill out the right answer. You left something blank. Uh, you didn't have the right years of experience. Because that's what they do. They pick and choose those random uh, keywords to uh, get rid of the majority of the candidates. And as a result, they have only 10 uh, to 15 candidates to look at instead of 1,000 people. In order to get through the system, I advise you to read the job description thoroughly and pay attention to what is required from the candidate and add those skills to your CV. Another reason why you cannot get a job today because you don't follow the instructions. Most job listings use the word must instead of it would be nice to. For instance, if it says you must have this experience, it means that you need to tailor your CV to show that. When you submit your CV, you should respond exactly the way the employer wants. If you're not applying for a specific job, but rather sending hundreds of letters, most probably your CV will end up in the spam folder. Many people apply for jobs that are not appropriate for them. They can be overqualified, underqualified or just not a fit. If the company is trying to fill the specific job and you are not right for it, don't assume they are going to find the right fit for you. When you apply online, try to follow up with the hiring manager after one week. The best way to find uh, the hiring manager is to use LinkedIn. And when you connect with an actual person, you can benefit in different ways. First of all, uh, you feel confident when you know that your CV was received and it's been reviewed. 
Second, you make a positive impression on a decision maker. If you were rejected, you can learn and uh, apply those mistakes to your future application. And uh, it's always a great idea to network with hiring managers. So these were five reasons why you're not getting a call back. And I highly advise you to start applying my tips to your job search process. If you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.